quite a lot of talk around what's happened in the budget. One of the lesser spoken about elements, an increase to public servants. It's something the opposition has been critical of. Joining me live now is Manager of Opposition Business, Paul Fletcher. Thanks for your time. So two of the, well, one of the big increases in terms of budget costs was public servants, but the two areas, defence and social services, are these actually areas we do need more public servants? Well, uh, Tom, good to be with you. Um, we have been critical of the fact that Labor's proposing uh, 36,000 additional public servants in this budget at a cost of $24 billion over four years. And the point I'd make is that uh, Labor claims that this is, for example, to deliver better service levels. That's what they've said about Services Australia, where there's 7,500 additional public servants to be employed at a cost of $1.8 billion. But actually, if you look at what's happened under Services Australia, under Bill Shorten as Minister, service levels have plummeted over the last two years. If you call the Older Australians line, it used to take 21 and a half minutes under us. That was too long, by the way. But it now takes nearly 50 minutes, well over 40 minutes before somebody answers your phone call. If you apply for mm. the low-income card, it used to take 16 days under us. It now takes over 80 days. So these are statistics... We uh, obtained... Yeah, well, I mean, you're preaching yesterday. to the converted. The one time I tried to call up, I couldn't believe but how sure. defunct and, the and system the was. And indeed, indeed w and the, when you call, the they say you can't even call today. But the don't, point I'd make... more people yeah, help sure. then? Well, that's, that's the point. Because actually, under us, with those service levels, 21, 22, there were around 26,800 people, Services Australia. It's now increased to 28,519. In other words, the numbers have increased... Service levels have gone mm. down. There is not a one-to-one -one correlation between numbers but of staff and service levels. But maybe there's just a lot more people calling up. Do you know what, what those Mr. numbers are at? Well, no. What Mr Shorten wants is more people employed in the public service, more people who are union members, more people who are Labor voters. What we're focused on is better service levels for Australians. And that means, for example, better use of digital. But what Mr Shorten did was cut 1,000 people... Uh, who were IT contractors. So the IT capability of Services Australia has been reduced. Uh, and, of course, he got rid of Serco, which is a specialist external call services provider. Um, I've got no particular brief for Serco, but the use of specialist outsourcing firms in that case was delivering okay. better results. So the point I make is that Labor's simplistic right. claims that more public servants means better service levels is actually precisely disproved by the evidence. OK. Well, I guess the other factor that we haven't put in there is how many people are calling up. I don't know the figure, for example, but that is um, the one missing figure in all of that. Um, I want to ask you about uh, immigration. This is a, a big issue now. Peter Dutton actually said after his speech that the final year of uh, Australia's net migration intake should be cut by 100,000, from 260,000 on Labor's forecast to 160,000. Did that figure specifically go through shadow cabinet? Well, so what uh, Mr Dutton said in his speech is that we would reduce permanent migration numbers from 185,000 currently to 140,000 over two years, uh, then 150,000 mm. and then 160,000. So temporary reduction, then move them back up to 160,000 to address the fact that what we've seen is net overseas migration numbers blow out under Labor. In fact, the budget revealed 1.67 million expected over five years and already 923,000 over the last two years, that's close to four times the rate at which new homes are being built. In fact, okay. new housing starts are at a nine-year low, 11-year uh, okay. low, I'm sorry. But you've just I, used different figures to the one I used. So I understand what he said in the speech. After his speech, he also pledged 100,000 net cut to migration in that final year, which is a huge one and has people wondering how you would do it. it is that figure not locked in? Was that, was that a bit of a, a loose lip situation? Uh, not at all. What, what, what we're saying is uh, we will have a clear mm. plan to reduce migration levels and at the moment people rightly suspect that Labor doesn't have a clear plan. Migration numbers are out of control. Now, let's be clear. Migration and, and reduce is very that important. final year by 100,000, that net figure. Migra that that, that migration means almost no temporary migrants. Migration is very important to Australia's uh, prosperity. It's been key to our nation's growth. Mm. But at the moment, we have a okay. serious disconnect between the number of people coming in and the number of houses being built, okay. and we need to address that. And, and I, I should say no net temporary migrants anyway. I'll pick myself mm. up on that. I, um, uh, 
I'll correct anyone, including myself, uh, if I get the chance. Paul Fletcher, appreciate your time today. Thank you. Thanks, Tom.